Hey guys, Teresa Barber with CP Couture. Today I'm going to show you how to watermark those photos and videos. Um, this is actually super, super easy to do. I get this question a lot, so let's run through it. This is the watermark app. Um, just go to your app store, app store and load it and it's super, super easy to use. Okay, just as a heads up, I bought this, but it's still giving me commercial. So I need to see if maybe I have it logged on to my wrong account. So um, I will just fast forward when a commercial comes up. So first we're gonna go to watermark and multiple photos. You can do one photo at a time if you want, but um, I usually do a few at a time. So we're gonna go straight to multiple photos. You're gonna go to your recent and pick the photos that you want. I have these four and then we're gonna click done. It'll bring you up to the screen and it will ask you, do you want the watermark? to be at the same position for all photos. I do not, I want to switch them around. And then I will tell you that you can change that option. If you put it in a certain spot, then lock it. Um, you can lock it into place. So um, a few things, guys, this is all self-explanatory. You can like do filters, all this fun stuff, but um, this is like my 20 millionth take on this tutorial today. So we're going straight into it. I'm gonna type in my name, Sippy Couture. And we're gonna hit our little check mark. Um, to get this box, I clicked on that little font box that was at the bottom. So right here, you have all of these different, let me move this down where you can see it. You have all of these different fonts that you can choose from. Um, and it goes way pretty, there's a pretty good choice. Like you have a lot, you have a lot that you can go through. I like one that's um, a pretty easy script to read. It's um, bold enough so that you can see it in different, against different backgrounds. Also, I'm gonna change my color. You can go right here to color and you can change it to pretty much any color you want. There's a ton on here. I like doing a white. I like for my logo to be on there, but not to where um, it's gonna take away from the photo. To resize it, just grab it and um, pinch in or out and then scoot it up to the top and then use this little circle to rotate it into place. It has to be clicked on though. You have to have the box around it. So I usually rotate it. I bring it off to the side I pinch it down to where I want it, and then you can move on. Um, if it helps you see it a little better, I'll put it right here. Just for this um, photo, so you can see it a little better, I'll put it here, but I like putting it where it's kind of, you know, where it's on there, but still kind of hidden. It doesn't take away from the design, but just so you can see, I'll put it right here for these. All right, so then we're gonna arrow to the next one, and it's gonna be wherever I left it for that first photo. Um, it has the exact angle and everything. If these were lined up perfect, how I took the photo, I wouldn't have to move this. But since I kind of um, angled my camera different for each one, it did put it in a different place. And you can put this wherever you want. If you want it at the bottom, if you want it to go right here, if you want it to be just kind of, ooh, right here. If you wanted to do it off to the side, you can definitely like straighten it and put it down to the bottom so that it's out of the way. And I've even seen somewhere like people did, you know, a few of them overlapping. You can also change the way this blends. If you want it to be bolder, um, you can have it where it like fades into your design. You can have um, screen is where it picks up. Which one is it? One of these picks up how it is in the background. I don't know. It's in here. You can just play with this. It's in here. <laughs> I'm just going to get to it, like I said, because I, um, I don't know, problems today. So then we're going to get this angle it come on all right i'm going to put it back right here crouch that down a little and then go to the next one and we're going to do the same thing but like i said you can change the color you can change the font super super easy so i'm more is this this might be the last one come on all right so just kind of put it in the same spot just so you guys can see so after this, when you go to click this, you'll be at the last one. It doesn't give you any more. So when you get them all where you want, you're going to go ahead and click your check mark right here, and that will save it. If you do import, if you wanted to do your actual logo, you can go to um, your gallery and select your photo, your logo from your photo album. Or if you've loaded it in here, you can have it saved and you can just use it. So if you wanted the option to actually put your logo on there, instead of um, wording, you could do your logo. So like I said, you would just go to that, um, you would go to the import section to bring that in. So after we have it the way we want it, we're gonna hit the check mark. It will save it all straight to our camera roll. I mean, it's that easy. It's crazy, crazy easy how, e how um, crazy easy, how easy it is. I don't know what's wrong with my words. So there we go. See it right here? And it's in all the photos and it saved it. It didn't give me any funky border. That is exactly kind of how my, um, how it would look whenever I posted it. 
All right, the next thing I'll show you is how to watermark a video. So we're gonna go right here to watermark video. You can do this all in the same app. Watermark your video. It's gonna to go to recent and it's only gonna show the videos that you have loaded in your camera um, at that time or your photo album. So we're gonna select this video. We're gonna to go to import. Um, the same option here. So if you wanted to do a text and you wanted to have wording, you could go to text and you could do the same thing we did before and change the font, change the color, put it however you want. Um, uh oh, what did I do? What is my deal today? Guys, I seriously. All right. So you can change this however you want. Like I said, whenever I do videos, I like to have my logo on it. So we're just going to go ahead and keep that consistent. Um, and these, this is what I load to TikTok and everything. So we're going to go to import. Um, like I said, if you have this on your computer, your logo is still on your photo albums and you didn't load it in here yet, then go to gallery and you can pick it up from there. However, I've already loaded it into here. So I'm just going to import, I'm going to get my logo. It's giving me this big box around here and I don't quite know why because I've already edited it before. So I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cut. I'm going to just give myself a little circle closer to where my logo is so I don't have such a um, big box around it. Click done. And I'm going to position this where I want it. Keep in mind that whenever you're positioning this logo, if you're bringing this to TikTok, you'll have all those um, things right there. Um, you know, all the icons that TikTok gives you. And then your wording goes across the bottom if you say anything or your hashtags. So keep that in mind that, um, you know, if you put this down, your logo is going to get covered up by whatever wording. I normally try to go somewhere around this area, but it will cover up this. Um, but I would normally go somewhere around this area and be happy with that. So once to work on it you click on that and once you have your logo um, about where you want it you can click off the screen and you can actually play your video to see where your logo is going to fall and then from there you can move it around and adjust it when your video is going and um you know kind of see where it lays to make sure you're not covering up anything if your camera does change angles kind of how that was like i wouldn't want that to cover anything up so i would see how it plays And it works out perfect like right there it's not covering that cup and then when it switches to that next screen it falls right in the middle like it has a little right there but that's not that big of a deal for as fast as this video is and the, it works out perfect there so to save that okay this is very important I need to make sure i say this so whenever you're on this screen and you have your logo highlighted in the box i don't know why i did that okay whenever you have this box around your logo, if I clicked save right now, you would have a gray box behind your logo. Um, and that box would show, it'd be a light gray box. And it's super, super annoying because it shows like just a shadow, just this big square shadow behind your logo and I don't like it. Um, so I always click off the screen to make sure it goes away. I don't know why it's not showing it. There we go. And now you can see that it's just my logo. It doesn't have that gray box behind it. So once that's set to where I want, we're gonna hit our check mark to save it and it will export it right into our photo library library so we're going to go straight to photos i don't know why this is doing this to me and here's everything so we have our photos just like i said and then the video is right here and it's just loaded perfect like i said it's right out the way um that could have been adjusted to any way i want it and it's super super easy so check out that watermark app i absolutely love it uh, just be mindful if you don't buy the subscription you get overloaded with commercials um the ads are insane on there so i do pay for that um for that program but i'm so used to using it it's so easy it's just it doesn't take anything um to really get my work done super quick with that so i hope this tutorial helped i know this was pretty quick but my um <laughs> trying to film this today has been a mess um i don't think it wanted me to do a tutorial today but we pushed through it hope this helps you guys let me know if you have any questions and i will see you guys soon